Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The world watches President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un finally met face-to-face -face tonight. Now, both President Trump and Kim Jong-un have, in the past, shared heated and threatening tweets about the other, but today was peaceful. The denuclearization of North Korea, of course, on the list of topics for discussion. After shaking hands, President Trump and Kim Jong-un then met one-on-one -on -one with just their interpreters. Now, this historic summit could have big implications for the U.S. foreign policy and politics here at home. And News for Utah's Glenn Beebe joins us now in the studio to explain what it could mean for our upcoming elections. Glenn. Well, right now it's too early to tell what impact this could have on the 2018 midterms or even the 2020 presidential race. Experts say it will show if the president's brand of foreign policy works. Experts agree, success or not, there will be a significant impact from the meeting between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. It's bound to be ranked with the biggest presidential summits of all time. I mean, with the exception of Nixon going to China, I think all other American presidents have, have, have largely played it safe. Amos Guerra of the University of Utah says it's hard to predict what will happen. He notes the president's style of foreign policy engagement might actually be a plus. I don't really know how to assess him. And he is not in any way an open book except in the text of Experts say President Trump needs a foreign policy victory, not just politically, but also for his known pursuit of a Nobel Peace Prize. This has been a big event. It's one that's been played out in the press. It's been played out over his Twitter account. He's banking on this being a success. Jason Perry of the Hinckley Institute of Politics says it's too early to know the political impacts of the meeting. Although other presidents have failed with North Korea, Perry says a failure by President Trump could hit harder politically. If he is not able to pull this off, it's something that's going to register with the public about him not being able to deliver the deal because he is the person that makes the deals. Experts also know this meeting has big implications because of North Korea's neighbors, China and Russia. A successful summit could be a major argument for the president's reelection campaign in 2020. Back to you.